one time I was a sophomore in college and it was Valentine's Day and I had this boyfriend, his name was Thomas, I might be married to him now. But at the time I was like, what if he doesn't get me a Valentine's Day present? So I was definitely that girl who sent myself flowers and chocolates, put them on my car so Thomas could like see me getting them at tennis practice. That happened. And now to this day he brings me flowers and chocolates and a bottle of champagne like a good husband does. Anyways, Valentine's Day is around the corner. We are making some of my favorite truffle stuffed chocolate chip cookies with Lindor truffles, which are milk chocolate. They melt in your mouth, you guys. These are everything, and these cookies are gonna blow your minds. To start, we're gonna cream together some room temperature butter and some sugar. So, I've already gone ahead and measured it out. We're just gonna dump our butter right into our mixer and then brown sugar and white sugar are going in here because it makes the best cookies in the world. So this is just gonna go on. We're gonna lock it and then this is gonna blend together for about two minutes until it's really pale and all the sugars are combined. Okay, that is perfect and you really wanna let it go for about two minutes. I know all of my recipes say that and like you could get away with 30 seconds but trust me, to get the perfect chocolate chip cookie, you need two minutes. All right, so to that, we're gonna add two eggs. You never wanna crack an egg on a sharp surface like this, so just crack it on the counter, and then we'll just transfer it into a little ramekin. And the reason we do that is because if you cracked it on this, some of the eggshell goes into the egg, and then you risk having to fish out some eggshell. And then these are just gonna go right into our mixer, followed by some pure vanilla extract. And then we'll turn this on again for another minute or so until the eggs combined. All right, so this is a beautiful color thanks to uh, creaming the sugar and the butters together at the beginning. And now we're just gonna put some cake flour and bread flour, which I've already measured out into here. If you can't find cake flour or bread flour, you could totally use all purpose. This is just what we did in pastry school and it's really delicious. So I'm just gonna carefully put that right in. If I don't spill, this will be miraculous. Oh, it's really gonna be a good day, like I said. All right, and into this, we're gonna add some baking powder and baking soda. And then finally, just a little bit of some sea salt. And then we're gonna pop this down, lock it up. Perfect. Okay, so look at the dough. Oh, so good. All right, so we are just going to take a little spatula, get all the cookie dough off of our paddle attachment, and then we'll grab just some regular chocolate chips. We'll add those in here. We'll mix those in by hand, just with our spatula. All right, this is where the real magic happens. We're just gonna unwrap some Lindor truffles. I might just eat one by myself before we actually go for it. Don't judge me. So good. All right, we're gonna need four. We're gonna do a little quarter sheet pan. So just unroll four of them. And then you're just gonna take your cookie scoop, scoop out a little bit of dough, and then just use your fingers to kind of make a little bit of a well in the middle. And you're gonna put one of the truffles right in there. Grab another little bit of dough and roll it into a perfect cookie dough ball. So you have a perfect cookie dough ball stuffed with a truffle. You can do these on a regular baking sheet too, but just make sure you give them ample room because they're gonna spread out a little bit. And then the center, when the truffle melts down, it's gonna like ooze into the entire cookie. Oh All right, and before these go into the oven, because we're just being a little decadent because it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna take a little bit of flaky salt and just sprinkle it right over the top. And then these are just gonna go right into a 350 degree oven. They bake for about 16 to 20 minutes. How cool is my um, cat lady oven mitt with my Valentine's Day outfit? Um, which is longer than most of my cookies bake, but because these are so big, they need a few minutes longer. So, oh snap. These, I mean, have you ever seen a more gorgeous chocolate chip cookie? I don't think so. These are gonna be fantastic. Are you ready for this? Moment of truth. Oh, it's still warm. We just can break it open. Look at that chocolate center. Holy cow. And look at that, they like baked gorgeously. 
Oh, so perfect. I'm going to be left alone here with these. You should make them at home. The full recipe is on whatscoffeecooking.com. Happy Valentine's Day. If you buy yourself flowers, I won't judge you.